The state hospital is a mental health hospital. Um, it is not, as some people uh, mistake it for, a, a prison, um, but it is a high secure hospital um, that provides um, a service for the whole of Scotland and Northern Ireland. We provide mental health care and treatment for male patients uh, who are age 18 and, and above who um, have major mental ill health. Um, predominantly schizophrenia would be, would be the, the, the most common presentation. Um, these are patients who have um, either been through the judicial system or have been identified as posing such a significant risk that they aren't able to be treated um, in lower levels of security. Because it's a high secure hospital, um, we obviously have a, a big focus on safety. Um, as an organisation, we've got a duty and a responsibility to make sure that we are protecting the general public, protecting our staff and of course protecting our, our patients as well. As Director of Nursing and Operations, I'm responsible for nurses, which is the largest workforce uh, in the State Hospital. Um, I'm also responsible for the psychology service and our allied health professionals. So the State Hospital, there are a number of disciplines under the allied health professions umbrella. These include occupational therapy, uh, dietetics, speech and language therapy, arts therapy and physiotherapy. Each, profession, each profession has a unique set of skills to bring to the patient's rehabilitation journey, but all will focus on being patient-centred and promoting active, healthy and independent living. Allied health professionals work collaboratively with their nursing colleagues and the wider clinical team to develop patient skills and to prepare them for the future. I think to the wider public it might look uh, perhaps uh, counterintuitive that these guys are offered care and compassion in a hospital setting. But we need to understand some of these guys have had difficult pasts, they've probably had uh, trauma in their past and they also need some kind of care. So as nurses, making a difference to people make, makes, it, makes us really proud. Me and my colleagues, we, we don't see people living in the state hospital every day, but now and then they live and that makes us proud. It gives it gives meaning to nursing for us, really. As with any other um, mental health uh, treatment plan, activity um, and, and therapeutic intervention are absolutely key components of that. It's very well researched in relation to um, the benefits of having meaningful activity and, and therapy. Um, it's known to reduce levels of stress. Um, it gives patients structure to their day. Um, and the, the research demonstrates that it also reduces any kind of risk of any um, you know, behaviours or symptoms of, of mental ill health that, that may pose a challenge to, to the staff to manage. Um, so uh, the, the HPs will assess the patient, they will identify um, whatever areas they need to work on and then that treatment plan will look at working through those. You know, very often it's things like life skills but it's also about you know, how you're um, able to interact with other people, making healthy choices in relation to your, um, your diet, your exercise, because um, our patients are also, um, you know, they, they have challenges in relation to their physical health as well as their, their mental health. It's, it's well known that patients with significant mental health um, problems have got significantly poorer health and wellbeing outcomes than that of the general population. So we can't just look at mental health in isolation and, and not make sure that we are providing all that education and support so that people can make um, those positive uh, choices in relation to their physical health as well. Occupational therapists focus on everything a person needs to do and wants to do within their daily routine. So this can include anything from getting dressed in the morning to cooking meals uh, to how they spend their day, for example, gardening. Um, the important factor, though, is about the activity and how important and meaningful and purposeful it is to that individual. Occupational therapists believe that engaging in purposeful and meaningful activity has a positive impact on a person's um, mental and physical health and well-being. When we engage in activities that are important to us, uh, we feel better and as a, a result of that, it, it, it can support us in making better choices and decisions in our life. 
As a, a, a healthcare setting, it's absolutely crucial that we provide um, that person-centred, compassionate care. Very many of our patients have actually come from a, a background of quite significant trauma um, and we are seeing you know, some of the impact of that in, in later life in relation to their, their mental ill health. Many of our patients actually report back to us that um, it wasn't until they came to, to be in within the state hospital that they were actually treated with dignity, kindness and respect um, and it's actually quite um, it's quite significant the impact that actually been you know been shown that that kindness and respect and how how that has an impact on our patients. I have been absolutely blown away um, by the the care, the compassion that that is shown by um, all the, the the team that work here, both clinical staff and, and non clinical staff. They are absolutely 100% committed to delivering the best possible service to our patient. Um, they have got extremely high standards and, and they, they, um, they want to um, have the, the best for their patients. And I get the feedback from the patients themselves. Um, you know, they, they tell me very frequently um, about those positive relationships that they have with the clinical care team and the difference that it makes to, to them in relation to their, their time with us. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of that. I'm also very proud of the fact that they have got a real can-do attitude. They go above and beyond. You know, the the staff are, are always they are always ready to to as I say go above and beyond and, and make sure that they can support um, the delivery of services within the hospital. They've achieved a high standard of care, and it's really important to them that they continue to maintain that.